Almighty Allah has embedded into the hearts of all married couples the desire to beget children. A new baby is a source of great joy and happiness for the parents and this joy and happiness is doubled when the child grows to become pious. Therefore, whenever we supplicate, we are encouraged to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for pious children. There is a lesson in the Holy Qur'an that the Anbiya not only made du'as with blessed with children, but through their humble supplication, they also asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for piety in their progeny. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Ibrahim alayhi salam with a child during his old age. He made this du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbi habli min as-salihin, O Lord. Grant me a pious offspring. Even though Zakaria had reached old age, his frail body, weak bones and grey hair did not discourage him from beseeching for a child. Being a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he had faith in Almighty Allah. Thus, he continued to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his humble supplications as his heart yearned for a child. This is the magnificent manner in which the Quran mentions his story. Kaf haya ayn sad. Dhikr rahmati rabbika abdahu zakariya. A mention of the mercy of thy Lord unto his servant Zakariya. إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ نِدَاءً خَفِيًّا When he cried unto his Lord a cry in seek. The Qur'an describes a secretive manner in which his heart reached out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever there's a burning desire and a longing in the heart, then automatically it translates into a dua that reaches out to the throne of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zakaria heart called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a secretive manner. He said, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي وَهَنَ الْعَظْمُ مِنِّي وَاشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا وَلَمْ أَكُمْ بِدُعَائِكَ رَبِّ شَقِيًّا He said, My Lord, lo, the bones of me wax feeble and my head is shining with grey hair and I have never been unblessed in my prayer to thee. My Lord. The Holy Quran mentions how Zakaria humility and supplication invoked and brought forth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy as he cried on. He said, Lord, I fear my kinsfolk after me, since my wife is barren. O oh Lord, Give me from thy presence a successor. Then he continues, Who shall inherit of me and also of the house of Yaqub and make him, my Lord, acceptable? After a person dies, his deeds come to an end too. Except for the deeds done by three people for which the reward continues. First is he who leaves behind some charitable trust for the benefit of the people. Second is the one whose teachings and knowledge continue to benefit the people after his demise. And thirdly, he who leaves behind a pious child whose good deeds and prayers are accounted in the parents' book of deeds. In fact, it is narrated in another hadith words to the effect that as long as a pious child lives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards the parents for every breath he takes during his lifetime. Once Zakari alayhi salam had come back from his mission of spreading the deen of Allah. 
He thought Maryam السلام, would be in need of food, so he rushed his assistance. He was worried. As Maryam السلام, had been in the sanctuary peacefully worshipping Allah, upon reaching there, Zakaria السلام, was astonished to find her eating from fruits. That were off season. This is how the Quran mentions his query. He said, Where did you get this fruit from, O Maryam? She answered, That is from Allah. Inna Allah yarzuqu man yasha'u bi ghayri hisab. Indeed. Allah gives to whomsoever He wills, without any limits. This greatly inspired Zakaria as he begged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he thought to himself, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can grant Maryam السلام, fruits that were out of season, He surely can bless me with a child even though I have passed the childbearing age. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his prayer and sent glad tidings of a son, Yahya alayhi salam, through his angel. This has been described in the Quran, فَنَادَتُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَهُوَ قَائِمُ يُصَلِّي فِي الْمِحْرَابِ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكَ بِيَحْيَا مُصَدِّقًا بِكَلِمَةٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَسَيِّدًا وَحَسُورًا وَنَبِيًا مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ and the angels called to him as he stood praying in the sanctuary. Allah giveth the glad tidings of a son, whose name is Yahya, who cometh to confirm a word from Allah, lordly, chaste, and a prophet of the righteous. Let us, refer, let us refer to the Holy Qur'an to find out the first source of these supplications. When the wife of Imran السلام, was pregnant, she made the intention in her heart. This has been described in the Qur'an. Remember when the wife of Imran said, My Lord, I have vowed unto thee that which is in my belly as a consecration accepted from me. Lo, thou only, thou art the hearer and the knower. From the moment of the conception, the mother is humbly making du'as for the unborn child to be pious. Ulama have said, if a woman recites this ayah of the Qur'an abundantly during the days of her pregnancy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant her a pious child, insha'Allah.